Hi everyone, let's read this story. It's called The Smallest Stegosaurus. Dawn. It was the dawn of a new day. 150 million years ago, there were no butterflies or flowers. There were no cats or dogs. There were no people then. Look, what's that? Is it a volcano? That's what we are talking about a little bit today. Volcanoes, and look, there's a pterodactyl. But the sun rose, red and warm over a large swamp, and the air hummed with dragonflies and spiders. In the swamp, as the sun began to warm the air, a family, a Stegosaurus family, awoke. The mother and father Stegosaurus were nearly 20 feet long. Unfortunately, the smaller, the smallest Stegosaurus was only a few feet long. He had not yet grown armor, and he felt quite helpless in the big world. See, there he is. He wanted to be big and strong. He wanted to protect his parents from their enemies, the dreadful Allosaurus and the terrifying Ceratosaurus. No matter which way the smallest Stegosaurus turned, the world looked very large, very large indeed. Down by the ocean, he watched strange fish. He wished he could swim like them. If he could swim, he would feel safe underwater. The smallest stegosaur looked into the water and saw the shadows of huge pterodactyls flying overhead. The smallest stegosaur suddenly became very frightened. He ran toward the shade of a giant fern. Because he was so tiny, he was able to hide easily. He certainly didn't want to be picked up in the sharp claws of the pterodactyls. The smallest stegosaurus was having his lunch of leaves and twigs. He looked up just in time to see a great foot coming toward him. The foot belonged to an allosaurus. The giant foot nearly flattened the stegosaurus into the ground. The stegosaurus rolled away just in time. The smallest stegosaurus ran deeper into the forest to look for his parents. He found them guarding a large egg which had, they had buried in the sand. When the smallest stegosaurus told his father and mother about his adventure with Allosaurus, they brought him into the comfort and safety of the large nest. See, that's his family. They taught him how to guard the egg and so that no ornith ornitholestes would steal it. Remember, we talk about, talked about ornitholestes? They're small dinosaurs, but they eat dinosaur eggs. Ornitholestes were dinosaurs that were so fast they could catch flying birds. Their name, in fact, means bird robber but they also like to eat the eggs of other dinosaurs. The smallest stegosaurus kept a sharp lookout for these robbers. He saw one by the lake. His parents did not see it. Oh, there he is. There's the ornitholestes. The smallest stegosaurus cried out a warning so his parents would be ready to get the thief. The Ornitholestes ran into the swamp. The smallest Stegosaurus felt very proud that he was able to help his parents. And then one day, the egg hatched. The shell cracked open and out came a brand new Stegosaurus, a tiny Stegosaurus. The Stegosaurus now had a baby sister who was much smaller than he was. 
And best of all, there was a whole new world to show her, a world of smoking volcanoes, giant ferns, inland seas, gigantic trees, stars, oceans, all this to share with her. And no long, and the no longer smallest Stegosaurus suddenly felt very big, very big indeed. Do you think he was a good big brother to his little sister? And all this happened in a time before there were butterflies or flowers, before there were cats and dogs, before there were people, when there were dinosaurs. The end.